Instinct is something. This now watch this. Instinct is developed. It's not taught. It takes time. It takes time, and, and, and what a new agent should do is to do it over and over again. And every time that they make the call, they get a little bit more comfortable. They get a little, that's where the instinct gets developed. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Red X Podcast. My name is Andrew, and I am super excited for today's guest. We've got one of my favorite coaches, authors, and speakers with us, Daryl Davis. Daryl, how are you doing today, my man? Good, Andrew. Now, I did see some of your other shows, and you said the same exact thing about those people. Too. Uh, well, I mean it about you, Daryl. I promise. <laughs> it's always urgent. Like, if somebody needs to sell in the next six months, in my mind, mm. um, well, buyers usually would look on the weekends. This is how I would just do it. And so if there's four weekends in a month that we got six months, it's only 24 real uh, weekends. Mm. So so in a week, it's now only 23. Then it's 22. So for me, it was always urgent. Right. I, I wanted to get that listing right away. When, first of all, when I made the phone call to the first Alba owner, my objective, I didn't list them all, but seven out of 10 times, that was my number that I would list the first Alba owner after seeing them. Right. Um, so there wasn't as much follow up because then there'd be other FISBOs the next, like I try and get it. If I can't get it and I get to a point with them, I move on to the next one. I'm not saying not to follow up. That's just what I did. Right. Uh, but to answer your question, Amanda, probably what I would do is, is put them into your CRM, make mm -hmm. sure that if you have some other stuff that you're sending out on a regular basis, like a newsletter, um, any mailing pieces, just send it out. But in the beginning, you call them, you get in the door. You have that conversation and be committed to leaving with the listing then because the you don't want them to be a FISBO because I believe every FISBO that sells on their own, actually they lose money and they make mistakes and it costs them and they don't realize this. So it shouldn't right. be, well, let me try it on my own for a couple of weeks and then I'll call you. No, I don't want you. What? It's like, do you're going to do root canal for a couple of weeks on your own? No, you go to a professional. You don't want to do it on your own. Even if you could, you don't want to because it's going to be a mistake. Um, and then if I don't get the listing that night, then I'll call them depending on how the conversation went. It may be in a day. It may be two days. It may be a week. So every follow up is, is, is customized based right. on that conversation and who they are. And one of the things that I've learned agents also do, Andrew, is if they have if they put a lot of emphasis on the follow up, they mm -hmm. actually will not be committed to getting the listing in that appointment because they've got that follow-up as part of the process. So in other words, they go with a commitment to follow-up, not go with a commitment to get hired. Mm. You use stories, metaphors, and analogies. What, what, what happens is when you use a metaphor analogy, mm -hmm. there's several things that happen. And this is tied to the expired is that the agent doesn't have to worry about a memorized script. They just remember the analogy. That's number mm. one. So now they're using their own words. They're talking from their heart, not their head. Mm. They're being, they're not doing a script. Right. So they're just more effective. That's not the other thing is it talks to people. The people get it differently. So I want to get into um, before the call, before we hopped on this call, you mentioned that you have a specific voicemail dialogue yes. that gets you a 50% callback rate, which is incredible. I've yeah. never heard of a 50% callback rate for anything. I ignore every call that I get that's not from someone I know, right? So right. can you share that voicemail dialogue with us and maybe break down why it gets such a crazy high return rate? Absolutely. I will actually um, give it to you word for word just so you can really appreciate it. It okay. goes like this. Hi, this is Daryl Davis from Power Realty. The reason why I was calling is I noticed you're selling your house and I have some important information about that. As a matter of fact, I might even have somebody who could be interested in it. And I'm not too sure because I first need to get that information from you first. Could you please call me back at your earliest convenience? That's the dialogue. That didn't sound scripted in the slightest. It's it almost I mean, it seemed like I, I can kind of tell that you're being very intentional with mm -hmm. a lot of your inflections there, mm -hmm. but I don't think it would come across that way to the person listening. I think it would come across as authentic and, and 
which is yeah. which is really important. And people don't right. want to think that they're being scripted because what what's associated with uh, scripted is inauthenticity. Mm. And um, and uh, salesy, and uh, it's just about you taking versus you giving. The yes. reason why the dialogue that I just went through, I think, works so well, why we get fifty percent return, is because it's telling the homeowner, "Hey, listen, I have, I know you're selling. I have some important information. Might e could have somebody who'd be interested, but I got to first talk to you." It creates like this. Well, what information does it? Who is this? It's like it's creating right. these, these incentives for the the seller to call back. So that's right. that's why I think it works so well. Okay. So what I did, um, Andrew, is I created an acronym for the listing appointment. Okay. And the acronym is REAL, R-E-A-L, Rapport. That's the R. So the first thing an agent needs to do when they go into a listing appointment with the homeowners, don't worry about getting the listing or what presenting price or talking commission because if they don't like you, none of that, no, all that will be a non-issue because <laughs> right. they ain't listing with you. People list with people they like and trust, period. So you got to break down the barrier, focus on it. It's one step at a time. Build the relationship, build that rapport. How you do that is touring the house, doing a lot of oohs and ahs. This is beautiful. Oh, you golf? I golf too. So you get that connection. Once you feel you got that connection, and I, here's a little side tip, is speed up the tour. Don't drag out the tour anymore. If there's some time during that tour with the homeowner, you feel like you broke through the wall that was there when you mm. rang the doorbell, speed up the rest of the tour because you don't want to eat into your conversation time. Right. So now you run back to the kitchen table with the homeowner, you sit down with them and you go to E, which is engage. How do you engage somebody is you ask questions. You have two ears and one mouth. You should communicate in that proportion. Listen twice the amount of speaking that you do. The listing happens in the listening. So you ask questions to get to the source of what they're committed to. So we're engaging them. We're asking questions to engage them and to find out their commitment to their next level in life. Once we're clear about what that next level is, why they're going there, when they need to get that by, are you going to interrupt me? You have a question, Andrew? No, 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 keep right. going. I'm taking notes. I'm okay. taking the very thorough thing notes. Is, okay, now we're going to give them advice. So that's the A in real. We're going to give them advice. This is when we're going to advise them on how they can accomplish their next level. This is when we talk about what we do for our clients, when we put it on MLS and when we do the advertising and how the internet works and how we schedule our appointments and how we use virtual and blah, blah, blah. Once you're done with that, then you're going to L stands for list, list and leave. I joke, <laughs> get the listing and get the heck out of there. But that's that's the listing appointment right there. The overview. That's the four sections. Rapport, engage, advise, list.